All right, in this lesson we'll explore the Python dictionary, which in other languages is called a map or a hash, sometimes a hash map. And what a dictionary does is tie together keys and values. So it's helpful um, for creating basically connections or bridges between what's known as a key, which is a unique identifier, and a value, which is the corresponding value for that identifier. I really think the name dictionary is actually the most effective name for such an object that I could possibly think of. I always go back to thinking about a traditional dictionary, the one you might find in a bookstore. And the way I like to think of it is uh, every word in a dictionary only appears once. However, the definitions themselves can be duplicated. So uh, each word is only going to appear once, but multiple words can have the same definition. And it's the exact same thing with a Python dictionary. You can have uh, only unique keys but the values that those keys have can be duplicated. So let's say I'm creating a dictionary to represent, to represent a fictional uh, restaurant menu. I'm just going to call it menu. And let's say I want to create a relationship between my menu items or my entrees, which are going to be just strings, and my prices for those entrees. In order to create a dictionary, I begin with curly braces. So that's going to be those symbols right here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of space here so I can work with this stuff. So basically what we do is we write our key. So let's say I'm going to begin with a string, filet mignon. And then we put a colon followed by the value that we want to assign to that key. Now either the key or the value can be of any data type. In this case, I'm just arbitrarily chosen string to be my key. And let's say I want to choose a float to be my value. So my filet mignon is going to cost $29.99. So filet mignon can only appear once in this dictionary. You can't have duplicates. You can't have another filet mignon. However, the value of $29.99 can appear multiple times, so that can be duplicated. So in order to create multiple pairs, essentially, of keys and values, all you have to do is separate each with a comma, just like we do in a list. So I'm going to place a comma here and do something like a Big Mac is going to be $3.99 comma, let's say a pizza slice is going to be 99 cents, and let's just do something similar. Let's do salmon and also price it at $29.99 just to show you that we can have the same value, but we cannot have the same key. So here is my dictionary. Again, it's forming relationships between keys and values. The keys are basically unique identifiers. They're kind of like words in a regular dictionary. You use them to look up a value, and the value is basically what we're defining on the right side of the colon. So once we define menu, and I execute this, I can basically reference the values by using their keys or their unique identifiers. So the way I do that, once again, just like with a list, is going to be with square bracket syntax. Now if we were working with a list, uh, we would pass an index position within those square brackets. This time we pass the key, and the key in this case can be anything. It can be a string, it can be a float itself, it can be a, a number. So you always have to watch out what data type you're working with. In this case, we do have keys that are strings, so we can pass in a string here. So for example, if I want to extract the value for Big Mac, which is going to be its price, I'm going to get $3.99. Similarly, if I do something like salmon in here, we're going to get $29.99. Now, if the key does not exist, for example, tuna does not exist within my dictionary, I'm simply going to get an error because it's unable to locate a value for a key that does not exist. That's why it's giving us a key error. But otherwise, a Python dictionary is basically a simple way to um, map together essentially a key, which is an identifier, with its corresponding value. And this will come particularly helpful when we're dealing with a pandas object called series, which is basically like a combination of the Python list and the Python dictionary that we've explored. So this is just a quick introduction or reintroduction to the Python dictionary.